What's up guys, this is the Brothman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Let's Play Empire Total War campaign as the Italian State. So to run off of our last time, uh, we have been very much progressing with a softly, softly approach. Whereas last time I blitzed through <laughs> Northern Italy, you can, you can understand or imagine how much of a problem it's caused us. And now we're going to be a bit more cautious in how we advance forward. So we're slowly building up a navy. We are slowly reclaiming our territories in northern Italy and we're trying to be a bit more established in how we play this game following our massive defeat um, to the bulk of the Ottoman forces that pushed through northern Italy. But the Italian people have risen up in revolt and they have decided to throw off their Ottoman oppressors and become free peoples. Uh oh. Oh good. <laughs> um, so we're laying siege to Genoa and we are not going to attack Genoa, we're going to let it simmer. Yep, they blockaded Toronto, but that's okay. That's why I want to send privateers out to deal with these loose stragglers rather than my actual ships. It would be handy to start to try build to increase my naval strength, especially as my income is not terrible. I might continue with government by consent just to get the research boosts, but then I might actually hop over and get the naval dock the naval dockyard research that allows me to build. I think it's can I build fourth rates with this? No, it's Admiral's flagship, so it's still fifths. Let's add on another Start another one fifth rate for a minute. We do need to build new we do need to increase our strength in other areas. There you go, spend six hundred to replenish this low and line infantry units. And low yield, average yields. Let's build some more vineyards to increase our income. So in 56 turns, Potenza is going to be growing. Rome is growing. It's developing Florence, which is there. I'm tempted. So I did notch this back up for the... <laughs> to grow my... <laughs> to, to gain more taxes for the incoming war. Um, but I am tempted to just leave it for now. Replenished, well, more or less, I've replenished everyone I can replenish, especially for my cash. So, yeah, that was our other fifth rate we've, recru we've recruited. Let's head in turn. I am aware that considering we've gone this far into the game with just one school, we're going to start be well, we are being out teched by pretty much everyone else. So, everyone else is developing more advanced economies, more advanced militaries, more advanced everything compared to us so that's definitely something to bear in mind oh, the Portuguese are going to go off and invade someone else the Genoans have not yet been tempted out of their settlement to attack us <gasps> oh this is good yes I will accept peace even though I do want to attack them um, peace at least at least rids me of the problem of having to protect all my shipyards. So let's go raid Genoa just to make sure they don't build any ships to move their troops. Anywhere frustrating. So we've got our farms down. Let's build another farm. Let's build another fifth rate. And let's check our ministers. See if we've got anyone who's particularly gifted. And I think they're all going to be the same. No, no real standouts here. Um, one more turn to get government by consent. Venice has still not got around to rebuilding their city, but they are very happy with themselves. So, that's fair enough, I suppose. So, you know, it's probably going to sally out to try and destroy us. 
let's get our last infantry unit. These are replenishing, replenished. Awesome. So now I'm not really concerned about the Barbary States. I mean, that doesn't mean I'm not going to build a navy. I absolutely am going to build a navy. But it's less of a problem for me at the moment. If anything, having the Ottoman Empire bottled up in Turin might be handy if I wanted to, say, go and attack Madrid. Because it prevents the open border with um, France from becoming an issue. Aha! They have sallied out. Let's do this. So, I mean, I could definitely have attacked them and killed them, but I'm going to want to... Really, I want to take advantage of the... Take advantage of the the chance to take a breather that I've got at the minute. That and I've not really got I've not got a huge economy, so I don't really want to be dropping two thousand every other turn to rebuild my rebuild my army. I want to take territories as cheaply as possible. Unfortunately, that means being cheap with my armed forces. But I'll take that as an option. So I deployed way back. I don't want those stupid mortars killing me. So I want to expand my territories. Oh dear, I've got another line of tune I forgot about. Deploy you in the woods. Let's speed up time. So I expect these guys are going to abandon their guns at some point. Well, I mean, good. I can say, you guys have sallied out to attack me, so... I don't think I'm coming after you. We now bombard that unit. Let's kill 20 men with one volley. bad for these guys. Brave souls, but entirely worthless. I think there's another lot coming behind them as well. Actually no, that's the, that's the far lock armed citizenry. Eight of them are dead. Down to eight. Seven. Five. Four. The officer's dead. The unit massacred. Good. Good. Although it looks like they're going to be silly when it comes to redeployments, which is obviously pretty lame. So much so I might just advance up. Unit to sprint straight for these mortars and knock them out, especially if the AI is being a bit dumb. So they didn't manage to land any hits on my mortars. They're going to get shot to pieces, though. So much so, they might not actually make the combat. Yeah, they are routing. general we killed. Sweet. Yes, yeah, so let's bring our... Let's bring our cavalry back. And it looks like... So we might start finding fighting our first combat on the right. 
Let's advance up into the woods. Yep, yeah, they've got their first volley off. Well, that's okay. 14th. Not having any of it. And our fireway rank will eventually cause a mass route. Go on then. Present. These are your future subjects ahead of you. Sounds being very funky. Are you going to push it? Thought not. Grand time. Just turn off the artillery. These guys though, so they're not going to have a easy escape. The centre of the force is going to. Ooh, you guys are going to get f hits. Oh. Only a few hits, because they are a bit out of the way. You guys go straight ahead. Pivot this infantry around to the right. Just slice them up as much as possible. And try not to get absolutely continue. The objective isn't to kill as many as well. The objective is to kill as many as we can, rather than specifically try to kill units. Right now, I just want to get my men, my generals, and so on to have a better. Uh, oh, and okay, gain experience and chevrons and such like. Go on, everyone! Slaughter them! Keep right clicking, it seems to they seem to reset <laughs> their intentions after you when you right click it and they all spread out. And massacre them. There's one guy left. Damn right it was a decisive victory. It's a victory for Italia. We lost hundred men and we've gutted their garrison, which is exactly what we'd like to see. So I'll probably attack them. Attack Lombardy, then head back to head back to Turin. So, how much would it cost? Six hundred to keep you guys all replenished. Let's do that. Let's build another fifth ray in a different port to help increase the speed of growth. Our wineries have been built, well, all nearly all of them. Let's keep building. Okay, so let's start to build a research flintlock cannon to get an immediate bonus on on uh, our reload speed, rather than increasing our recruitment costs. Two thousand eight hundred at the moment. Can we trade with any new countries? 
Russia. Russia's taken the Crimea. Perfect. It's on 4,000 thanks to our new trading allies. It looks like it. Is Poland at war with the Ottomans? No. I thought they'd taken Transylvania. I mean, Russia's on a real drive. Who is Ottoman, the Ottomans at war with then? We're the only major power they're really at war with. Uh, Venice. Venice, Venice, Venice. How much give them canister shot? <laughs> Just to help them hold out against whatever comes their way. Yep, got another fifth rate in the med. Yep, you're back on your island. Wait a minute, your general looks mighty familiar. So my guy's just got a bigger head. Sweet. So, let's keep driving on. Ooh, the Swedish are actually driving into mid-central Europe. So I would like to capture either Spain or France because it would allow us... I have to fight it because of the stupid balance of power. I don't want to risk... don't want to risk it. Um, but I would like to capture one of those regions to have a... some Atlantic ports so I can send ships off to trade, trade theatres. Let's see. I mean, it's going to be the same again, broadly. Just hunker down. Just put a gunner on the flank. Give him a bit of backup, at least. It's going to be a really quick triple speed job, because... I mean, look at them. Oh, man, their guns are actually in range. Or are they in range? Or are they just punking me? So they're after them. Very well, lads. Send my cavalry in. Hard and fast. Bikes on the flank and let's try to speed it up. My cavalry's gonna smash straight into them. Okay, I don't know why my cavalry's decided to line up like this. It's a bit frustrating because it means Oh yeah, so I've lost a bunch of guys because of the the back end of my cavalry charged through my infantry. Let's do this to make sure they don't shoot into combat. This is what you get for thinking you could... you could dare or disobey us. becoming very experienced, producing very experienced regiments of horse. Oh, 
all my cavalry in against them. Although they're probably, yeah, they're very close to the border. Oh no, they've chosen to route a funny direction. Go on, get him. Get this one guy. Got him. Awesome. Another very efficient drubbing of their forces. I won't be surprised if that makes the Ottomans, that makes them engage and they turn on us and try to kill us. We've got another winery built in Sicily. Again, we're in Genoa. Let's keep things replenished. Let's repair, reinforce. We can repair the trade port. An extra 574 cash a turn. Soon it'll be on to Milan, then it'll be on to Turin. Then we'll be right back where we were. Let's keep building these ships. One more turn, we get Flint, not Cannon. We've got an enemy agent here, but that's not really a concern. I'm tempted to spend to send one of these guys to go st try and steal technology from the Ottomans. Who's the most enlightened? I see that's Spain. I kept thinking, I was like, that's us. Look, turns out it's Prussia that's the most enlightened. Diplomacy, Prussia, tech. I've only got carbines, improved grenades. Oh, lots of industrial techs and these techs. Okay. Off your grand for division of labour. <laughs> Damn. So right, one more turn till Flintlock Cannons, then we'll get division of labour. Like Yuri is ours. There's nothing really else for us to do. Except maybe take this army, this fledgling army, and raid the Ottomans as their trade passes through this gap. And let's build a. Oh, what next turn there'll be a sloop, shipped and built. Let's upgrade. Let's build some wineries again. Good. And we're growing, growing nicely again. As our navy grows. I mean, eventually I'm going to butt up against a fleet with a bunch of fourth rates in it and be screwed, but that time will come at a later date. Oh my. Oh, I don't want to fight that because I'm rubbish in navy battles, but I will. Or do I auto resolve it? Because lots of these are chaff, but we might get. We might break their power. I'll pull back for now. Although we're really dead now if we lose. Yep. Risky manoeuvre. But at least they now have no navy. <laughs> Once more I completely waste my navy. Um, this is why we were building, building more ships. Because it looks like the AI is doing a really bad job at actually replenishing their losses. So... Even though that's a loss for us, in a few turns we might actually be in a better position because they'll have no ships at all to do shenanigans. Looks like the Portuguese are sailing off again. Hmm. As long as the Barbaries don't start blockading Britain because we need their trade money. Got flintlock cannon. So let's get on to division of labour. Okay, we've got more wineries. Let's, you never fully replenished, but let's put uh, Milan under siege. Well, that's a much more comprehensive army. Oh no, we can't actually leave Genoa yet. 
So let's go ahead and build up the military governor's barracks to help get that increase in repression. Um, Ordnance factory isn't really a priority, but there's not really a huge amount to spend money on otherwise. Keep gathering my new navy. Yeah, workers were on strike in Ligurdia, but now they're not. Now they're fine. We're earning six grand a turn. Okay, let's hit end turn again. See, at least now when I'm hitting end turn, I'm at least burning through tech. So I am still developing. It's not as much of a waste as it was when they'd raided my church. Spain has taken Morocco, and that might be a fabulous target. Because we can challenge their access. Yeah, I don't know why you'll bother nicking my tech, Ottoman Empire. I've not got much. I've not got much worth stealing. I need to really check what's going on in other theatres, because I don't really know. Aha! Go on, Venice. Take someone out. Oh, it's the Turks. Yes, Venice! Okie dokie. Okay, now might be the time to slowly start building up our forces again. Now let's build the Royal Palace. So, what's going on in the world? The French have taken over Brussels. The Prussians are, are being squeezed westward. The Swedes are pushing in from the north. In India, it's all about the Mughals. They're the king of the hill. In the Americas, nothing much has changed. No one's, nothing's really changed hands. The French have taken Curaçao. And whichever one of... Or Dutch Guyana. <laughs> I was going to say which one of these territories was the Dutch. Was owned by the Dutch. But it's all interesting to know where the Portuguese are going to go. Hmm. Must they going to go sail and retake Goa? Okay, at least they're growing their army. Okay, burn another end turn. Whew. Oh no. We're up onto another game where the Poles are storming everyone. Because the Poles are going to take Prussia. They're going to take Berlin, which might knock them out of being a trade partner of mine. The Swedes are building a strong Baltic navy. I need another school. I need to go on the offensive and expand my muscle. That's what I really need to do. No, Barbary States, don't blockade. Damn it. So many trade partners are being ruined. Four thousand one hundred, because Prussia and Russia are being blockaded. Yeah, they're done for. Okay, now can you guys leave? Avanti, I mean, you'll be unhappy. But what if I just build a couple of cav units? a sloop here and I can move this infantry unit to do something useful. Build an ordnance factory just to unlock the new tech. Pronti Keep building my fifth rates. Actually it'd be better off to do to build one over here. Oh, I am. Okay, two will do. I can't build infantry here, not yet, but I might build a fusilier unit down here in Rome to march out ready. If I exempt them from tax, it's okay, but we lose all that tasty tax income. But these are the these are the realities of war. 
the United Provinces is keeping the French occupied. With that strong garrison, they're probably going to keep them occupied for a while. They're trying to steal my tech. The Russians have pushed them out of their port. I'm feeling much better now than I was previously. <laughs> yes, the Venetians are doing are doing my work for me. They're keeping the Ottomans at bay. They're fighting the, the Barbary states. Oh no, don't you do it. Oh, the Barbary states have raided their port instead. Works on strike, but now you're okay. Put them under siege. Hold on to said fort. Well, not said fort, but hold on to the uh, blockade. Actually, no, make, move them to, to Genoa to see if I can remove their. See if I can remove their um, tax problem. Another turn will be okay. So that's our sloop being built. One more turn to division of labour. So I'm going to keep this cash and use it to upgrade my trade ports. So I can expand. Ah, the French are here. Don't worry, France. There's plenty of time for you. Soon, I will march on them. Now oh, the Prussians have pushed back the Polish. I think. Yes, they have. Hmm. See, if I get engaged in North Africa, I'm going to be fighting in both directions: against the one, one direction against the Barbary state, the other direction against the Ottomans, eventually. I was hoping the Barbary States would go and fight the French. Ooh, and they're sallying out. That's awesome. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.